Hello everyone, welcome to Oda class. My name is Sushant Srivastava and today we're going to do the most important question of circle. So guys, if you look at geometry, in final board exam, geometry itself has 35% weightage. And from geometry, if I have to select two most important chapters, so one will be triangles and the other chapter will be circles. So today we're going to do the most important questions on circle. So before I move into those questions, I'm going to actually make you recall a bit of theory related to circle. And these theorems are actually very important for your bo board exam as well. So I'm sure you all know these two theorems. I will still make you recall these two theorems. So let's see the geometry related to the tangents of the circle. So here I have collected four results which are related to tangent. Okay. So let's read the full thing. If T is an external point of a circle from which two tangents TP and TQ are drawn to the circle and PQ is called joining to the points of contact P and Q. So T is an external point and from this point I have drawn two tangents. So TP is one tangent, TQ is another tangent and hence P and Q are actually points of contact and if I join P and Q you get a chord and in fact you will get to know later on that this chord is also called chord of contact. So the results are triangle OPT and triangle OQ2, OQT will be congruent. So triangle OPT, so this is a triangle and this triangle is actually congruent with this triangle which is triangle OQT, okay. Now since these two triangles are congruent, I can say this length will be equal to this length, that's the second result, that is TP will be equal to TQ and PQ is perpendicular to OT, that is this line which is called of contact PQ will actually be perpendicular to the line joining O and T, that is this angle will be 90. And here I have collected one more result which will help you in the higher class, that is points O, P, T, Q will lie on the same circle, that is they are concyclic. So if I draw a circle, it will pass through all four points. Not just that, this circle will have diameter as OT and hence the center of the circle will be midpoint of OT. So this is the geometry related to tangent. Now let's see what is the first question over here is actually related to tangent as, as I said. Let's read the question first. So PQ is a chord of length 8 cm of a circle radius 5 cm. So radius of the circle is 5. So I can say this length which is OP, this is 5. Similarly OQ will also be 5. And PQ is a chord which has length 8. So this length is 8. Now guys, I'm going to give you one result. Since we already know this is perpendicular from the previous theorem, so I can say this line, which is OR line, is perpendicular to PQ and hence you have another theorem where you'll get to know the PQ will actually get bisected at R. That means these two will be equal. And since PQ is 8, so I can write this as 4 and similarly this as 4. Right. Now what are we supposed to find? We are supposed to find length of tangent TP. That is we are looking for this length. Okay. So guys, there are there is a conventional method where you actually assume this length as X, this length as Y. Y and then you solve X and Y. I'm going to give you an easier way to solve this question using trigonometry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to assume this angle as theta, right? Now I have two right angle triangle. One is this, you can say this angle is 90. So I have one right angle triangle, which is TPO and another right angle triangle is there, which is OPR. So in these two triangle, I'm going to use some trigonometric function and I'm going to help you with the solution. Let's see how to solve this question. So I'm going to first take triangle ORP. So in triangle ORP, P, what I can do since I know 4 is perpendicular length and 5 is hypotenuse, so I can write sine theta as 4 by 5. So this is one information related to theta. Now similarly, I'm going to use bigger triangle which is also a right angle triangle. So in triangle OPT. Now, since I'm looking for TP length, which is perpendicular respect to this angle theta and OP is also given, which is base. So I'm going to use tan theta over here. And what I can write tan theta as tan theta will be perpendicular upon base. So I can write it as TP by 5. Now, guys, if I know sine theta as 4 by 5, can I calculate tan theta? In fact, 
if sin theta is 4 by 5, we all know how to calculate tan theta and that will be 4 by 3. So I'm going to plug in this value over here and then this question will be over. So we'll get 4 by 3 is equal to Tp by 5 or Tp value will be 20 by 3. So this was the first question where the chord of contacts length was given and radius was given and we were supposed to find length of tangent. If you guys have any doubt related to this question, you can always write your doubt in the comments. I'm going to move on to the next question. Let's see what is the next question. So the second question also has a similar kind of setup where we have an external point T and from this point we have two tangents. So let me read the question first. So in figure, O is the center of the circle of radius 5 cm. So radius of the circle is given as 5 cm. That means this length OP is 5. Similarly, this length OQ is also 5. T is a point such that OT is equal to 13 centimeter. That means this length is 13 centimeter. So this is a useful information. We're going to use it. And OT intersects a circle at E. That means this is the point of intersection of the circle and OT line. If AB is the tangent to the circle at E, so that means this line is actually tangent. Since this line is a tangent, so I can always say that this angle will be 90 or this angle is also 90, right? Now, what are we supposed to find? We are supposed to find the length AB. That is, what is this length AB? So before I actually calculate AB, I'm going to divide AB into two parts. One is AE, one is BE, and I'm going to have a relation between A and B. BE. So if you look at triangle OPT and triangle OQT, so we know that from the theorem that these two triangles are actually congruent and if they are congruent, you'll have this angle equal to this angle theta theta, right? Now, if you focus on the smaller triangle AET and BET, we have one angle 90 over here and similarly, this is also 90. One side is common and this angle is equal to this angle. So we have these two triangles that is triangle AET will be congruent to triangle BET. Why? Because we have one side common and you have angle that is ASA using ASA. Okay. Now, since these two triangles are congruent, I can say AE value will be actually equal to BE. So if we are looking for AB, so what I can do, I can break AB into AE plus BE, but A and B themselves are equal. So I can say this is two times A. So now we are just supposed to find A. Now again, I'm going to give you a very easy method which involves a bit of trigonometry to solve this thing. So I can have two triangles. One triangle is OPT and I can use this triangle to find a theta value. And from there, I can use another triangle, which is triangle AET. And then again, I can work on th theta, right? So since this line is also the radius of triangle, so I can say this value will also be 5. And since in the question, it is given OT as 13, so I can say ET value, ET is this length. ET value will be actually equal to OT minus 5, right? So 13 minus 5, which is 8. Now I'm going to use two triangle, right angle triangle. So in triangle OPT, I'm going to use sine theta or in fact, if you notice this angle is 90, so this is perpendicular, this is hypotenuse. So let's use sine theta and I can write sine theta as OP by OT, which is nothing but 5 by 13. Similarly, in the smaller triangle, that is in triangle AET, if I'm looking for AE and I already know ET, so I need to use tan theta. So tan theta value will be AE by ET. Now AE, we are supposed to find and ET we have already calculated as 8. So I need to just plug in tan theta and this question will be over. So sine theta is 5 by 13. So from here I can say tan theta will be 5 by 12. And let's substitute that over here. So you get 5 by 12 is equal to AE 
by 8 or from here you get AE value as 10 by 3. Now guys we have AE value I'm going to substitute in this part to get AB so since AB is twice of A so you get this value as 20 by 3. So this was an easier method to do this kind of question where you're using right angle triangle and trigonometric function. So guys for more such video you have to be keep connected with us on ODA class and if you guys have liked this video, if you guys have understood these methods, don't forget to like this video. For more such video, subscribe to ODA class. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.